Ready for more Waikiki? Today we're taking you to a few places that are easy to drive to as we go through the Best of Oahu Food Tour Part 3. If you'd like to see more baking and dessert adventure videos, please hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, and the notification bell. And we are headed to Filipino Town, or what we call Filipino Town because there's so much Filipino food there. And a beautiful Asian, well I wouldn't say beautiful, <laughs> a really cool Asian market. First stop is Yellow Cab Pizza Company, a popular place in the Philippines a transplant to Hawaii. Their pizzas are on another level with roasted garlic and shrimp. They also make delectable pastas including a Charlie Chan pasta, a spicy and sweet dish. Oh, it's like opening a present. That. Don't forget, they also have delicious wings. We are going to try this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at how good that pizza looks. Oh, ah. Uh. Mm. Amazing. Super cheesy. Nice and crusty on the outside and chewy in the inside. And there is no lack of ingredients there at all. It's out of the way a little bit, but definitely worth it. Heading just across the way to a nearby strip mall. A place that we really wanted to go to but didn't get a chance is Double Three for bubble waffles and ice cream. Seriously, just go. Don't think about it. Now for some Filipino desserts. Gonna let the music tell you this one. side of the strip mall, it's off to Tang's for our daily dose of boba. The difference here is they use fresh fruit for their smoothies. That's not something you find all the time and it definitely makes you feel better about eating boba. Real fruit. Very generous, and this is my real fruit cantaloupe, which I can't wait to try. I can't wait to dig into mine. Here it is. Oh, look at that! Ah, oh, cantaloupe, fresh cantaloupe. I grew up eating cantaloupe drinks because my mom would blend them in the blender and put the little shreds inside so you'd have fresh fruit. And this takes me back to my childhood. It is amazing, you have to go there. I know it's kind of a rundown plaza area, but don't let it fool you. It is a great place, one of the best places in Oahu. For some deliciously unique Filipino Hawaiian baked goods, don't forget Kamehameha Bakery. Idalis in the front is a third generation granddaughter who helps run this 43 year old bakery. They sell donuts, cakes, and pies, and a variety of buns in very unique Filipino Hawaiian flavors. There is definitely something for everyone's sweet tooth here. Close up on some taro buns. Look at that beautiful lavender hue. Some of them are filled with something special. I think one of them has filling. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. Let's see it. Oh. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. 
what kind of filling is that? Oh, that's the jalapeno one. Jalapeno, I think. How is it? Wah, 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 wah. It's really good. It's so deliciously <laughs> gooey. <laughs> Consistent takes me back to when I used to eat my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> if you're looking to do some home cooking, just in the same parking lot area is the marketplace at City Square. This is an abundant indoor farmers market where they have produce, fresh fruit and meats and fish seafood galore look at fish seriously all the best food that can be found in the philippines can be found here in this market look at all the noodle choices oh man except for this maybe moby crunchy chocolate's favorite corn skin what do you think look appetizing <laughs> if you're in the mood for shopping plus good food, go to Ala Moana Center, which is the biggest shopping mall in Honolulu. Our favorite modern food court there is Lanai. Small but with great variety, they have Mahaloha Burger, gourmet burgers, fries, and Locomoco hot dogs. There's Teppanyaki for those who like high protein meat dishes. Ahi and vegetable for those who like sashimi, sushi, and poke. Then there's Masubi Cafe for those who love bento style katsu chicken and rice. Or tummy satisfying Masubi, which is spam with rice and sushi. But one of my favorites was Soul Mix 2.0 where they made the best broth for ramen and they had a ton of different bento style boxes. De delicious. Another one of our favorites was High Tea Cafe where they had a plethora of Chinese comfort food entrees. And you guessed it, smoothies with boba. Our favorites were the mango, acai, and coconut. Gotta try it. Last but not least was Brug, a Japanese pastry bakery. Oh my gosh, look at those gorgeous pastries. Such talent on these shelves. Honestly, who could really resist? Tear this baby apart. Oh! Ooh, chocolate inside his head. Chocolate. Mmm, smells yeasty and kind of like a Chocolate paste. Mm, mm. Yeah. This is a winner. It's like a pudding paste inside. Delicious. And the bread is so soft and tender. And look at the way it pulls apart. This is definitely the winner out of those three. Thanks, my friends, for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Please remember to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up and share this video with family and friends.